Hello everyone. I'd like to say a few words about the Paris Climate Accord and President Trump's decision to withdraw the United States. Well, I think this is going to go down in history as one of the most ignorant, horrible, ridiculous, embarrassing moves since Galileo, uh, when the Pope condemned Galileo for uh, saying that the earth went around the sun. Uh, complete denial of reality, a denial of science, uh, a step backwards into ignorance. Uh, that's what we're seeing here. It would be hard to believe that Mr. Trump has read any scientific reports at all because the scientific community is overwhelmingly convincing. Now, science is not opinion. Science is not political. Science is neutral. And what science does is to examine something, propose tests, repeat those tests, look for conclusions that repeat themselves, base this on a hypothesis and go forward. At this point, things are very, very clear that climate change and global warming is really happening and it's very serious. Now, one of the problems is that humans are very short-sighted and it's difficult to convince people or talk about things are gonna be happening in 50 years or 100 years or 1,000 years or more, but we need to use our brains to understand that this is real and the consequences are extremely important. Now, the president mentioned in his speech about he prefers Pittsburgh over Paris. In other words, nationalism over globalism. But guess what? Pittsburgh and Paris are on the same planet. And the climate does not know national borders. Uh, clean air, clean water, these are international things. These are not local things. This affects the entire planet. Now, maybe you think, well, global warming isn't that big of a deal. Uh, look at the effects outside, weather always changes, it varies, etc. Maybe it's more important that there is mass extinction of uh, animals and insects and plants uh, all over the world. Maybe it's more important that there is massive deforestation all over the planet. We're destroying the very lungs that give us fresh air. Maybe that's more important. Maybe it's more important that there's less and less fish in the ocean. And then we have a gigantic, huge area in the Northwest Pacific of floating plastic garbage that eventually is going to get into the food chain and cause cancer in humans. Maybe that's more important. Maybe it's more important that uh, all around us we're seeing polluted air, polluted water, less fresh water, all of these problems. But the scientific community is in accord that what's happening with global warming is real. We can do something about it. Is it more important that we drive our cars and, and pollute the air and, and have coal-fired plants in order to poison our children and their children and their children, etc.? Now, when this was announced, and the phrase now, which everyone's talking about, Pittsburgh over Paris, the evening news went to Pennsylvania and they talked to some people in coal company, coal country, I mean. And naturally enough, many of them supported what President Trump was doing. They interviewed the man who is a head of a coal mine that they're planning on reopening due to Mr. Trump's decision, and they asked him how many jobs there were going to be with this new coal mine or reopening. And his answer was 70 to 100. Now that's very good that there are some new jobs. But 70 to 100 jobs as opposed to the health of the planet? We're living in an aquarium here. Imagine an aquarium. There's no place else to go. No animal on earth fouls its own nest. That's what we're doing. We're fouling the planet and making it unlivable for ourselves. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's so crazy, it's hard to even describe and put into words. So I just had to get my two cents out there. Uh, what can we do? You know, sometimes things need to get worse before they get better. Maybe Mr. Trump's decision is so outrageous that it will activate people. They'll be more concerned. They will examine the issue more because examining the issue from all sides and all points of view is what we want to do. We want honest, open investigation. And if it's true, which consensus is that this is a very, very serious issue for the health of our planet, which means the health of ourselves. We're part and parcel of the planet. Then we must come together 
to save the planet and save ourselves. Thank you.